everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will talk about José Rizal and his Paris days. But first, some history and context. In 1541, Ferdinand Magellan sailed around the world and came to the Philippines where he met his end. Thirty years later, the country was taken by the Spanish and was under colonial rule for almost 300 years. First Christianized with the help of monastic orders, they de facto ruled the country and the Philippines were at their mercy. Manila developed into the hub for trade between Asia, mainly China, and Acapulco, Mexico. After the loss of several South American colonies, a censorship authority was set up in the Philippines to nip any effort towards independence in the bud. Under these circumstances, José Rizal was born in 1861. He left the Philippines for Europe in 1882 to continue his studies and to escape the oppressive Spanish colonial rule and seek political and personal freedom. In this video, I will retrace Rizal's step in Paris and visit the places he worked and lived in. He utilized his time in Paris to further his language skills and immerse himself in French culture. He took advantage of his time and the city to attend cultural events such as concerts, plays and visits to museums and art galleries. He also took the opportunity to explore iconic tourist destinations such as Versailles, the Champs-Élysées and the Jardin Luxembourg. Rizal was a great admirer of the works of Voltaire and Rousseau and also visited their graves, which are both located in the Pantheon. In the beginning, he stayed at the Hotel de Paris at 37 Rue de Maubourg in the 9th arrondissement. There is a small plaque that says, and um, please excuse my rough Google translate, stayed there in June 1883, Jose Rizal, the Philippine national hero, medical writer on the occasion of the centenary of his death on December 30th, 1896. In July, he moved to a cheaper hotel in 124 Rue de Rennes in the Latin Quarter because the living arrangements were much cheaper. In a letter to his family, he writes, With 50 pesos, one can live in Paris without smoking, without drinking coffee or going to the theater or ordering clothes. The house in which I'm staying, which is in the Latin Quarter, costs me 10 pesos. Light 4 pesos, food 32 and some centimes. The laundry the rest and that I'm on the fourth floor. Paris is the most expensive city in Europe. There is another plaque that reads, Jose Rizal, national hero of the Philippines, lived in his house in 1883. On June 18th, he visited the Leinik Hospital and marveled at the progress on the facility of the small hospital. The hospital was built in 1632 with the purpose to care for the poor and sick. After the hospital, he visited Beaumarchais, one of the four department stores in Paris during this time, and he was amazed by the size. On the same day, he also visited Notre Dame. Two days later, he went to the La Reboisir Hospital, and there he observed the examination of different diseases of women. In September, he traveled back to Madrid, only to return to Paris again in November 1885. He now worked as an assistant at an eye clinic under Dr. De Wecker until February 1886. Here at 55 Rue du Cherche Midi. I accidentally filmed the wrong house there, so it should be the one on the left. During this period, he spent much of his time at the clinic or in the company of his friend Juan Luna, a Filipino painter, as they lived together at 65 Arago Boulevard. The house was built in the late 19th century from pieces of the World Exhibition. In this house, uh, Rizal posed the cicatuna for Juan Luna's painting of the Blood Compact. There is a small plaque, but it only commemorates Luna. Rizal is not mentioned here. Rizal left Paris for Heidelberg, but returned to Paris briefly in September 1888 to study at the Bibliothèque Nationale. In March 1889, he traveled to Paris once again and remained there until mid-1890. The 1889 Paris exhibition was a major highlight of his time in the city and Rizal submitted a bust for the exhibition but did not receive any recognition. The unveiling of the Eiffel Tower was a memorable event for Rizal and he liked the tower. In contrast to his first trip to Europe, which was taken of his own volition, he was now forced to leave the Philippines and was restless, undertaking numerous short trips in Europe but never staying in one place for a long time. He referred to this period as his little odyssey. 
He returned to the Philippines and was first exiled to Dapitan in 1892 and later executed by Spanish colonial authorities on December 30th, 1896, after being found guilty of leading a revolution against Spanish rule. His last days were marked by intense political and social upheaval as he faced trial and the prospect of death for his role in the independence movement. Brazil's death had a profound impact on the Philippine independence movement and it is widely considered to have been a turning point on the country's struggle for freedom. And the last place I visited was nestled between the Rue de Maubourge and Rue Revier and is the place José Rizal, a public square located in the 9th arrondissement. Just next to a restaurant is a small pedestal with a bronze bust of Rizal on top. The plaza was inaugurated on December 30th, 2011 by Philippian ambassador and deputy mayor of Paris. It is intended to be a symbol of the friendship and cultural exchange between France and the Philippines. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and join me on Patreon. It has a lot of members only benefits and starts at only one euro a month. Thank you. Bye.